A Trident missile, launched from a British nuclear submarine, misfired dramatically and crashed into the ocean nearby, as revealed by British press. This marks the second consecutive failed launch, following a misfire in 2016, which occurred while Defense Secretary Grant Shapps was aboard HM's Vanguard to observe the test. Although HM's Vanguard was submerged, it was not struck by the 44 feet missile as it descended back into the Atlantic. This is the second unsuccessful test since 2016, when a Trident missile launched from HM's Vengeance deviated from its course and self-destructed. The Ministry of Defense confirmed that an anomaly occurred during the exercise on January 30th off Florida, but assured that the nuclear deterrent remains effective. The submarine crew successfully completed their doomsday drill, and the Trident II missile was launched into the air by compressed gas in the launch tube. However, the missile's first stage boosters failed to ignite, causing the 58-ton missile, equipped with dummy warheads, to splash into the ocean and sink. A source reported, it exited the submarine, but it just went plop, right next to them. This marks the second unsuccessful test. The Trident missile launched from HM's Vanguard was expected to travel 3,700 miles from Florida's coast to a landing point in the mid-Atlantic between Brazil and West Africa. The National Geospatial Intelligence Agency issued a warning to ships and aircraft, revealing the missile's intended path. The target was 1,000 miles nearer than the failed 2016 launch and less than half of the reported range of the Trident II missile, which is 7,500 miles. Trident II missiles are engineered to soar to the edge of space, reaching velocities of 13,600 miles per hour, before re-entering the Earth's atmosphere carrying a destructive payload of up to 12 nuclear warheads. They were first deployed by the U.S. Navy 34 years ago and by the Royal Navy. Four years later, 17 million pounds expense however Lockheed Martin, the manufacturer of the missile, maintains that the Trident II are the world's most advanced ballistic missiles. They claim that these missiles have been successfully test-fired a record 191 times since 1989, most recently in September when the USS Louisiana, an Ohio-class nuclear-powered submarine, conducted a demonstration and shakedown operation in the Pacific. British launches are less frequent due to the high cost of each missile, which exceeds 17 million pounds. The last successful UK launch occurred in October 2012, when HM's Vigilant launched the missile following a refit and sea trials. This comes amidst escalating warnings that the world is on the brink of World War III with increased Nuclear posturing highlighting the critical role of Trident. The Trident missile is a submarine-launched ballistic missile equipped with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles. Originally developed by Lockheed Missiles and Space Corporation, the missile is armed with thermonuclear warheads and is launched from nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine. Despite the setback, Officials maintain their confidence that the misfire was event-specific. The question arises, did Downing Street conceal the failure of the Trident missile test just weeks before the parliamentary vote? We cannot provide further information on this. However, we are confident that the anomaly was event-specific, and therefore there are no implications for the reliability of the wider Trident missile systems and stockpile. We recognize the special service of those who've maintained our continuous at sea deterrence for over 50 years. Officials emphasis that Trident remains one of the most reliable weapon systems in the world, having successfully completed more than 190 tests involving the UK and US. The UK has launched 12 Trident II missiles since the weapons entered service with the Royal Navy in 1994. However, the two most recent ones failed. In June 2016, a Trident II missile was launched from HM's Vengeance and its rocket boosters ignited successfully, but moments later, it veered off course, reportedly towards the US and automatically self-destructed. 
Theresa May's government was accused of covering up the failed launch as Parliament was due to vote on renewing the UK's nuclear deterrent. Members of Parliament overwhelmingly supported a plan to invest £40 billion in modernizing the nuclear deterrent. This implies that the old Vanguard class submarines are set to be replaced by the newer Dreadnought class in the 2030s.